Hello everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Blake, and with me today I have Yella. Good day. Bob. Hey, this is my current intro line. <laughs> and Connor. Hello there. And today we're looking at a WikiHow article, How to Make an Imaginary Cat. Mm. Oof, this, is, this, is, this is for if you're a lonely cat lady, but you can't even afford to have a cat. Can't have one cat. <laughs> yeah. You've got them imaginary ones. You can't even pick up a stray. You, you have Move to... Move on from imaginary friends to imaginary cats. Yeah. yeah. This, mm. is, this, is, this is sad. If you ever make an imaginary cat instead of an imaginary friend, that's how you know you're a cat lady. That's true. Always wanted a cat, but you can't get one? Allergies or parents say no when you want a cat more than anything else? An imaginary cat is the best solution here. I mean, that's it, debatable. That's debatable. Yeah. Yeah. I no. feel like there's other solutions. Like, just <laughs> give up. Or like, a hypoallergenic cat. Or like, just wait. Yeah, get one of those cool Sphinx cats. Wait oh, till you yeah. like. Wait till you like live somewhere other than with your parents. Oh, but we're going down that road. We've made the decision to invent an imaginary cat. All right, so we've, oh, we're this there. will be our official Steel Donut pet. Every YouTube channel has a pet these days. This will be oh, our imaginary. Yeah, we'll true. have ours. We'll have yeah. ours. Great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. okay with this. Yeah. So let's okay. get going. Step one. Step one. Select the breed for your imaginary cat. It could be any breed you know of, look up, or even make up. Your imaginary cat could be a ragdoll, a Siamese, a British short-haired silver tabby, or even a cat-sized tiger. Alright, I got two questions. First, what is that that he's looking at? Like, what website is that? Is that just <laughs> I... a list? Is that a list of cat breeds? I mean, something yeah. com slash cat breeds. But then, like, check E's. Up in the top right corner. Uh, uh, yeah, this looks like some real late 90s, you know, web browsing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know it's, what it's I'm like, seeing. It's like cats101.net. Check us yeah. out on iPhone. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that's oh, how my God. More, like, Look at the Twitter logo. Yeah. Uh, so what is this? Everything about this page just sets off my alarm bells. Everything <laughs> about this page yeah. just screams old. But uh, what, what breed should our what breed should the steel donut cat? Be? That, that was my, my other question. Was about y they said we could make up a breed. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so is it possible? Is it possible for me to just pull a breed from like fiction? Because sure, I want a Khajiit, right? From Elder Scrolls, I want a cat Wait. person who is fully a person, but <laughs> is still our pet. Cat. Oh, yeah. Can the cat be like <laughs> half green and half blue, and maybe have wings and a couple tails? You know? By the way, I I quickly are you just I, describing my fursona? Uh, I'm describing my fursona. I was about to say maybe me. we shouldn't go with. Oh the my Khajiit gosh, we have the same fursona twinsies. Yeah. Oh my uh, god, I'm, I'm not excited about that. I'm going to fight you to the death. We, no, well, no. we can't have a uh, we can't have a Khajiit because then when people draw a fan art, it'll look like furries. Like oh shit, furries. you're right. Fuck. Oh god. <laughs> oh, also, no. guys, I just really quickly I noticed on the picture, sign up now for the latest news from Petfinder. This is in fact petfinder.com oh, slash Pet catbreeds. Oh. I've been to Petfinder. I figured it out, guys. I oh, puzzled it. That's Sleuthing. why Yell is the smart so, one. <laughs> see, I vote for the the breed I vote for is a Corat because it's one of the oldest cat breeds. It's an OG. I mean, I'll be honest, I know nothing about cat breeds, so you guys... Oh, well, actually, yeah. I have the site here, I can look! Yeah, I'm yeah, looking at the site, too, yeah, Pet Finder. God, this site looks <laughs> old as flip. Oh, hey. It does, it really does. You always... It's weird, because, like, you go to their homepage, and their homepage looks modern as heck. And then you and go then to petfinder.com slash cat breeds, and this looks like it was designed in 2002. <laughs> Seriously, go to Google Images, search for Corat, and look how freaking swag these cats are. I'll just go to Pet Finder and find it. How do you spell that? <laughs> it's a K O R A T. And I the other reason it, it works is because they're gray. Steel donut? Oh, oh that is they, a good yeah, Korat would is, be a good breed, I guess. Also they're, look at that also if you look on the on the Pet Finder website, look at those stats. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa. They're big. Dude, we're, we're max, we should make a cat here. RPG. <laughs> yes. You know that oh, shit oh. would sell like hot hotcakes, man. <laughs> There's the Warriors yeah, oh RPG. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah. I mean, uh, guys, that, guys, 
Okay, can I can I make a request? So like, <laughs> oh, I'm God. not really a cat person, and mm-hmm. they said we could make up a cat breed. So can it be a half Korat, half dog? Oh no! Oh, no, I like I, this. Well, but I'm not. Really and I don't a dog mean person. I don't mean it was like a dog, and a cat made a a baby. I mean like it's a cat with like a couple dog parts. So it's cat dog. No, no, not like in any kind of or- logical <laughs> orientation. I mean, like a dog yeah. head sticking out the side. Yeah, but cat, like, cat dog was not a, a out logical the side. Thing. Out they the side, it still has no a ass. It still has a butt. Is my point. It still has a butt and a fully functional digestive system. It just okay. also has a dog head that like is happy to see you all the time. So a chimera. <laughs> Yeah, yes, kind of. Yes. Like a poorly done chimera. Yeah, but why, we, why do we need a dog head that's happy to see you all the time when we have a cat head that's happy to see you all the time? I mean, we, why do we have one head who's happy when we can have two? Yeah, exactly. Two heads are better than so, like, you, the- you can be petting the cat head and I'll pet the dog head and they'll both be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so half Cora. Can the dog breed be a husky? I'm okay that's, with that. That's really big. <laughs> the poor cat. <laughs> It doesn't, have, does, I mean, it I didn't mean, it say didn't, that our breed had to be the same size. Like, they said a cat-sized tiger. Why not a tiger-sized... Why not a uh, cat-sized dog? Cat? I mean, it's imaginary. <laughs> it's not like there's a risk. That's true. All right, so half Korat, half Husky. Like there we husky. go. That's our breed. Next step. Nice. Choose your imaginary cat's name. You can choose any name at all. For example, Cookie, Sugar, Lily, Felix, Thomas, or Princess. And only those. <laughs> Your imaginary cat might even have two names, his regular name that you call him, and a special cat name that he only uses to talk to other imaginary cats. Oh, wow, how no. deep does the rabbit hole go? <laughs> it goes very deep. Oh, uh, it goes well, much I deeper mean, than it should. I mean, our cat needs two names anyway, one for the dog and one for the cat. Mm. Yeah, Bob, I, I think we already know what name we need. Whoa, what is that? Brykevian. Br- oh, no, God, no, please. Can we not have... Bright Kevin is a monstrous melding of Brian and Kevin and Ian. And, and and Ian. Ian. Like, can we not, please? Bright Kevin. Like, I mean, or, I know our, our our imaginary pet is a monstrous combination of cat and dog, but that's still, why, yeah. that's why I was well, thinking. Can, can, can you throw a third animal in there, like combination cat, dog, and you know, like ferret or something, and then it can be Bright Kevin. I mean, ferrets are pretty good dogs. I'm cool with that. I used to have a ferret. <laughs> Ferrets are great dogs. <laughs> yeah. Ferrets are the funniest animals ever. Yeah. Um so what would what would the Oh, I got it. I got it. It's like a cat, right? But the middle of the body can be like all stretched out and and like oh. flexible like a like a ferret. <laughs> God. Right? Oh so it's God. like twice as long as it normally would be and the dog head's just like on the shoulder of the cat. I love Very it. Nice. It's like it's a adorable. slinky like a weird slinky cat. <laughs> Oh Weird man, the more cat. you describe this, the better it looks in my mind. I'm, I'm cool with Bright Heavy, and I guess if no. that's the way we're going. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we are not Monster Factory. We cannot bring this beautiful boy to life ourselves. Uh, Someone just else go, could. Just, just go on the spore do, creature creator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm making sure to to note all of our decisions down here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Barkevian, yeah. the steel donut cat dog. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I hope sure. I spell that correct. I'll, I'll share it with you guys. Yeah, later. <laughs> Can you make swear. it the steel donut good cat dog? <laughs> He's a very good cat dog. Yeah, uh, don't worry. That's how I'll save the. That's okay, how I'll save good. the text file. All right. Then moving on. Step three. Think about all your imaginary cat's likes and dislikes. Whoa! My wait God. a second. Look at that picture. <laughs> She finally found the Facebook dislike button. Yeah. It, oh. She holds within her grasp the power to dislike. <gasps> oh, man. She wields Praise this dark be. power. Praise to, be. To not misuse your gifts. It's a thumb, but pointing down. Look at her disdainful mouth. She says, hmm, who shall I first lay upon my dislike button? Exactly. She's like, hmm. <laughs> Hmm. hmm, weighing oh, my options here. An ambivalent god carries the future. <laughs> oh my in god. Her hands there. Holy Good shit. Good and evil, yin and yang. In perfect yeah. harmony. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in actually, perfect her, harmony. Uh, she's the avatar. Right hand's a little lower. She, she's the avatar of the modern day. She holds the power to dislike on Facebook. 
She can still <laughs> she can good. give star ratings on YouTube. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. The, the ancient, lost art. The she ancient has lost ritual. Exactly. She has the, she has the ability to toggle off every troll review on Yelp. <laughs> and she has no character limit on Twitter. No! Oh. <laughs> that is too, much, too power much power for a mortal being. Who said she was mortal? Oh dun, dun, no. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Um, Actual <laughs> These can be real and ordinary. Your imaginary cat can like hunting mice, eating cooked chicken, hunting mice that are eating cooked chicken, <laughs> oh. and a cozy bas cozy basket. Or you can pretend he likes marshmallows, watching TV, and sleeping on top of your head. All of those are still real. I really don't want our gigantic <laughs> chimera to sleep on my head. I'd die. I think well, it's can I part just say, cat. It's gonna sleep on your face. No can matter I, what. Can I? Can I make another modification to this cat? Can he swallow his food whole and strangle <laughs> it with his long, like with his long body? Yes. God. Oh. So it's part snake now. He's not part snake. He just has certain snake-like He does have a lot of abilities. snake-like features, <laughs> and is also feature. He also features like snake venom. Okay. So, so he's literally a chimera at this point. I mean, he's yeah, imaginary, but what does he like doing? Like, maybe he doesn't like strangling things. He feels really yeah. bad about it. Oh, I don't want him to. Yeah. I don't want him to live a guilt-ridden, angst life. That's no, true. That's yeah, fair. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay. So he do He likes doing that. He likes murdering things. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me just he's note vicious. that down. Murdering uh, things. His favorite. You, yeah, he, you can't sleep with him in the room because he will strangle you in your sleep. His favorite <laughs> yeah. food is a nice medium rare flaming yawn. Flaming yeah. yawn. Yeah. Flaming you yawn. Can't yeah. you flaming can't yawn. Let him out. Flaming yawn. Flaming yawn. There you we go. You can't let him out. Our kids, small children, will disappear. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. He yeah. so he also likes kids. That's good. He make, yeah, he likes yeah, kids. He likes he's great kids. He makes with kids, kids. He makes kids disappear faster than Slender Man. I was gonna uh, say always watches no eyes. Yeah, he's no great eyes. with kids. Actually, yeah, he does he have like good four eyes? Down easily. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. guess he does have he has no eyes on the cat face. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. no, no the dog face has, always sees. No, no, he has he's got eyes. Everyone just says, Oh look, it's all four eyes. <laughs> that's oh, people, poor guy. Because they that's okay. What, remember dislikes, he has, it said he has dislikes seven names. being called four Dislikes eyes, yeah. people calling him four eyes. Well, yeah, that's remember, the second yeah. name. In the previous, yeah. in, uh, so as I was saying, the previous step, he needs a social cat name that other imaginary cats call him. It's old four eyes. Right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. He kills other imaginary cats. Yeah. So they don't call him <laughs> yeah. that when they long. call him four eyes. They don't call him that often. Yeah. You ever you ever noticed how you used to have an imaginary cat and then one day you just forgot about him? Yeah, yeah. It's because our cat killed him. Our cat oh. murdered your cat. Yeah, yeah, because he likes your murdering cat was things. being playful and funny and trying to call him four eyes like he'd never heard that before. Uh uh, no, he's not getting no. that bullshit. Uh, <laughs> You'll taste his wrath. Maybe our cat feeds on dreams, you know, Ooh. and turns them into nightmares. I like that. Wait, so it's a haunter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like Haunter from Pokemon. But does he enjoy doing that, or is that a it, it has the move Dream Eater. <laughs> can I can I can I make another rec request for for our cat? Perhaps if you look if you look at like pictures of the cat, he's standing on the ground. But anytime you look at a foot, it's never on the ground, right? So it like you can't confirm that he's floating, but he might yeah. be floating. Because like yeah. his feet never seem to be touching the ground. Like if you look at one of the feet, that's that always one off looks the ground. like it's floating. The others look like they're on the ground. But, but when you when shift you eyes over... to look at another foot, now yes. that one's the one that's floating, and the others are off are on the ground. So you can yes. never really tell. Yes. Yes. He's like okay. an optical illusion. Okay. So yeah. Notice let how me one just circle add that... appears bigger than the other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me just add that to the breed part optical illusion. Also, can he have, like, on his side, on his fur, can, like, his fur be a magic eye painting so that when you go a little <laughs> bit cross-eyed, it looks like the Steel <laughs> Donut logo? That'd be cool. Okay. Oh, dang. I don't know how you'd even do that. Very carefully. But but so, we uh, uh, but we still need we still need to think I mean we have like three likes but no dislikes. He likes have oh he dislikes having the Steel Donut logo on him. There, <laughs> that's a dislike. Yeah. 
Um, oh, maybe he dislikes the steel donut. He thinks the channel's decent, but Bob's going to kill it soon. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, was, I was about to say he really dislikes... Dislikes Bob. Yeah. He, and, wow. he, and, and lastly... We're his owners, but he hates us. <laughs> no, no, well, just no, Bob. Just Bob. Just, just Bob. And the steel donut. Well, wow. no, no, he thinks he, the channel's he, decent. Yeah, that, that, that Connor guy and his cool, funny, insetic 47 channel that everyone watches. <laughs> wow. You know, that's, that's wow. great. Yeah. Whoa. Now, um, uh, he has one final dislike. Uh huh. He really can't stand any movie with Thora Birch. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, agreed. agreed. I think that's the thing that me and me and Evian, uh, all four <laughs> eyes, you know, we agree on. <laughs> that's the one you we don't we're like, yeah, Thora Birch is. Why? Why? You want to call him that too many times, Bob? Or why one is day Thora Birch? Dis- one day you you'll. <laughs> yeah. Number four. Choose. It is favorite toys. All right. So we got like a little fake mouse, I guess, with yeah. like, and then like a ball mm-hmm. yarn, and then is that like what is that? It's on like the a wait, wait, radish. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait That's is what that, I was thinking. A radish. Wait, that mouse. That, is that a mouse? It looks like a bullet vibe. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Which could, could be potentially both. be their favorite toy, but. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> well, I, I definitely won considering the cats used it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I'm. I'll just let you put that toy away. So you choose his favorite toys. You can make or draw toys for you, imaginary cat, if you like. Think about what you see around you that he'd like to play with: feathers, string, marbles, even scrunched up paper. Hold on, I'm just gonna head over to Bad Dragon real quick because <laughs> I figured. Don't. I mean, they've got plenty of designs. Yeah. They probably have you a know? bullet vibe that the cat would love. Mouse dildos? Yeah. Almost certainly. <laughs> and if they don't, right. they don't yet, someone will make one. <laughs> Soon. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll, ju- we'll just give it time. Once Barkevian catches on, we'll have a special limited edition steel donut <laughs> model. Yeah. Barkevian's Made entirely d- of steel. Bra- yeah, Barkevian's terrifying <laughs> steel dick. Yeah. Oh no. Jeez. So favorite toys. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. do we want to come up with any specific favorite toys? I'm really. I think he should be a fan of Tickle Me Elmo. Elmo. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Just because like it's a classic toy. Yeah, it's with a classic. weird with weird weird connotations <laughs> these days. Uh, is it yeah. is it even See, still true. around or is it like a collector's item? I, I would know. think that Brykevian would be very old fashioned. That. His favorite toys mm. would be like a radio flyer and a Red Rider BB gun. But he also right. he also hasn't realized that that Beanie Babies are never going to get value again. So he's been collecting them, hoping that the value goes up. <laughs> oh yeah, lawn darts. Yeah. He's a big fan of lawn darts. Lawn darts yeah. as well, and uh, and steerage darts when he's on a ship. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Bitcoin. Just any and all Bitcoin, kinds of that's Bitcoin is toys. one of his favorite toys. Yeah, he plays with all Bitcoin. the Bitcoin market. Yeah, oh he switches back and forth between. Up, up, up. He switches back and forth between Bitcoin and Ethereum, depending on which is more profitable at the time. Well, no, yeah. no, it's Dogecoin. I mean, the like the Husky side loves Dogecoin. Well, yeah, of course, True. of course, of course. Does, it, does well, the Husky see, have a name? That, uh, that's why I said Doge. That, I, always I mean, I think I just like. I think that's Kev. dog. I think I was thinking just dog. Call him dog. The cat's Brykevian. Oh, and I he's thought just the bre- dog. I thought the cat was just Bry. Yeah, the no. dog was Kev, and then the ferret was Ian. Yeah, and the snake <laughs> is just hiding in there. But don't tell yeah. anyone. I mean, those are snake-like features. Is he's not <laughs> yeah. actually part? That's true. He's not actually a snake. These are features. If yeah, you really need to give features. a name to the snake, it's the serpent from the garden. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you know that Original guy. sin. Yeah. The adversary, yeah. the great tempter. Or as Damn. some people know him, Dave. Dave, yeah. Dave. Dave. Yeah. Dave. My Dave. brother's name is Dave. Huh. And he really weird. likes snakes. Huh. Yeah. Weird. Think about it. He's also part Did of Did we just incorporate my it. brother into... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, it makes sense because your brother's part snake. Remember when we saw him strangling that food? That's true. <laughs> that yeah. nondescript food. When we were and up no, there. you did. You did see he, he he lays on the ground and slithers everywhere. So. <laughs> oh my! God. I'm pic- I picture yeah. your brother like in my head doing that, sliding yeah. down the stairs. Like, hey guys, did you be quiet? Yeah. <laughs> Keep it down. <laughs> and then he just slithers oh. back up. 
He like oh. gets up on his like from a face down position. He gets up onto his knees and then just says leave. And then he just like gets back down and slithers away again. Yeah. And then, oh and then when you say I'm not going to. He he like hisses at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you're joking about it, but I mean, that's that, that is what he does. That's my on. life. Yeah. <laughs> also, I probably missed most of the toys in the lists. I mean... That's okay. I, all you needed was Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, <laughs> Tickle and, Me Elmo, uh, and then, like, old Tickle Beanie me Babies. No, tickle beanie me Babies, me yeah. yeah. His all old, right, old, old, Beanie Babies. Don't and let's just, say, let's just say Minecraft? Oh, oh that's yeah. a nice toy. I, yeah. I, I feel like, like he'd be him, real uh, into Minecraft. I like the idea of him with a bunch of, like, old-fashioned 50s toys. Like, imagine he's just this freakish monster in a, in a radio flyer <laughs> shooting with a, a Red Rider. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty good too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll work on the list. Yeah, as you can later. see, we love our pet. We gave him a lot yeah, of toys. Yeah, it's on the recording, so you yeah. can just check it back. Yeah, we <laughs> gave him a lot of toys. Yeah. So. All right, number six. No, five. wait, five. Five? five? Oh, I skipped yeah, one. Number I'm sorry. five. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Number five. Make a home for your imaginary cat. You could make it a home in your room, or it can snuggle with you in your bed. Wait, is your bed not in your room? No. That's it's usually where... Oh. What's your... So what's your room for? No, it took over your room. Oh. Your room is its home. You moved your bed out. Ah. It's gonna un unfurl from under your pillow and wrap around your neck and pull tight. Well, you see, the thing is, Brykevian, he doesn't really understand the difference between murder and a hug. Yeah. It's really it's really tragic if you think about it. Even weirder, yeah. he doesn't know the difference between love and hate. <laughs> I, like has, to, I, I like to see a lawyer use of, that defense. Instead of having multiple emotions, he just has a single scale. And yes. it's basically just passion. Passion. <laughs> yeah. He's no. either totally dispassionate or he's just super into something. I, I Whether would, that's good or bad varies anybody's guess I, anybody's I would really guess. i'd really like to it's, see a, it's a, a constant lawyer. coin flip i'd love to see a lawyer use that hug murder defense <laughs> he didn't realize my he client he was my hugging. client does not know the difference between hugging and murder my, my client does know the difference between hugging a person gently and choking them you know just yeah. to death he doesn't Is know he... the difference between a nice friendly hug and shooting somebody with a gun isn't that basically <laughs> just of mice and men yeah. Mice <laughs> well, I don't know. I have nothing to say about this picture other than don't waste pillows. Uh, and now imagine this, right? You have you have some visitors over, and they just see pillows there, and they're like, "Oh, hey, cool! Can I grab a pillow? You know, to sit more comfortably." Hey, that's and my like, cat no! is sleeping. That's my cat bed. My Can't cat you is see sleeping. the? <laughs> yeah. And if you wake up my cat, it will strangle you to death. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bright Kevian. They didn't mean to wake you up. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't steal their souls. They're like, they're, wait, they're just, wait a minute, they're sitting leaving. there like, why are you sitting there? Away? They're sitting there looking at you like, w w what are you talking about? And suddenly they start going, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bright Kevian, no. I at find least your wait, lack like... of faith disturbing. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bright Kevian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't. <laughs> I'm, I can't control him, man. I'm just trying to live here. Yeah. <laughs> Brykevian is a free agent. Brykevian is the reason they canceled Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yeah. Oh. Number six. Getting back on track. Yeah. Yeah. This is the this this is the ulterior motive here. Share your feelings with your imaginary cat. You can tell him anything, out loud or in your imagination. <laughs> Just that help. Just make sure to not give Bright Kevian any blackmail material. Yeah. Because yeah, he'll yeah. use that. Also, sad. Sad. This is yeah. so sad. Mm. Yeah. Even going back to, let's assume the woman in these pictures has just made a tabby named George or something. Yeah. A You're talking to a your imaginary cat about like, <laughs> oh my god, my life sucks. I have no one to tell it to except for you, my pretty sweet imaginary fake cat. Like, <laughs> imaginary fake cat. <sighs> that's that's mm. real sad. Get a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> well, cat, I finally did it. I managed to give myself head the other day. <laughs> oh. 
I can tell the cat anything, right? <laughs> anything. Sometimes, well, sometimes when I'm recording with the guys, I feel like we're more than just coworkers, but I don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel real. I don't want to like push things, you know. Again, though, don't give Mark Kevin any blackmail material. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Bob, what did you do? He's working right now to tear Bob and Yella apart. You mean <laughs> put? Well, I mean, we get us go, together you more. Just so. fire one of us. Oh yeah. no! Oh yeah. By the way, that fun fact, but you know, Brad Kevian, he is in fact the official owner. Yeah, he's the of boss. The Steel Donut Collective. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're just employees of his. No, no. What I mean by that is he owns us. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Our souls, everything. <gasps> our souls, our physical bodies. Yeah. I told myself I wouldn't get involved in slavery again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Uh, number seven. Bring it with you everywhere or imagine he's following That's you. That's a bad idea. Don't go anywhere <laughs> with your imaginary cat. Yeah. <laughs> If you're Brack gonna be crazy in your room, always behind you. <laughs> if if you're if you're gonna be crazy <laughs> in your home, be crazy in your home. Don't <laughs> take it anywhere else. No one else. <laughs> no one will understand. They'll all think you're crazy. You're gonna lose all your friends. Yeah, you're gonna get locked up in a mental asylum. A where you'll, it'll about. just be you and your cat. Oh man, yeah. it, it, you know when Bob, when Connor said a tabby named George earlier, I'm like that sounds like the title of something. What a great like psychological horror novel. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> where, where this crazy lady does all this stuff because she imagines she has a cat and it's called a tabby name. And the George. cat is you know whispering her to do things. Yeah, yeah. and at the end yeah. we find out it was like some like secret like like person who was like whispering through the walls or something stupid. Yeah, or no, like some like obviously it was some, a, like, some kind of arch demon, yeah. Dimension. Oh, we'll do. Thing. We'll go the 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 supernatural the ghost route. route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. just yeah. drop the ball and have it be ghosts. You know, yeah. <laughs> it was actually a ghost chimera named Brykevian. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> uh, think where he'd like to perch so he can see everything wherever you are. Jesus, weird. Wait, here, he here's my imaginary everything. cat. NSA. Is this, yeah, is his second name Big Brother? What is it? <laughs> Remember, he'd probably want to be well away from the water when you are having a bath, but some imaginary cat is like to swim. Hey, George, some real cats remember, also like to swim. Yeah. Remember, George, stay far away from the water when I drop the toaster. <laughs> I hate for you to get hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Or do, you think, or do you think she just does the seven pounds thing and dumps a bunch of jellyfish into the water? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, she's not the one in the bathtub. I guess that's true. George told her to drop that uh, toaster in that other person's bathtub. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, no. I, no, I, number eight no, is can too I just short. Say, yeah, number eight it might be the saddest picture of them all. And the oh. step is, play with it in your imagination. Hey, that was mine. That's it. Play with and, it in your imagination. Thanks. And I gotta say, the picture... <laughs> she just said... She's that. not imagining anything. <laughs> Her imagination is blank. That is so sad. I have no imagination. Even, even in your imagination, he doesn't look like anything? I have a cat. Now how do I play? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have no cat. I have never and I known must play. playing. I have only been beaten. Oh. Oh. Is this like a. <laughs> look at her. Mad she's, lib. A depressing Mad Lib. She's like. Yeah. She's just sitting there imagining gray. <laughs> It's a bad lit she's, book where oh every god, word. Oh my god, you're right, Bob. She's yeah, even. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, she's even imagining the most sad color. You know, I think. Ray. I, I think me and Connor have a have a good like Kickstarter idea here because with the success of Edge Lord Games, like Cards Against Humanity, I think like an edgy Mad Libs book where everything's about some super edgy shit would sell really well. Yeah, probably. So basically, any Mad Libs. No, no, no. Those <laughs> Mad Libs books. Though they use are... boring stories like my summer camp or my time playing basketball. Right, and oh. then right instead it would be some edgy shit like you know that yeah. time I m murdered my abusive something, something. stepfather. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah, <laughs> no, like a good go. Mad Lib about that. I was thinking, what about like a Cthulhu inspired Mad Lib where when you finish the Mad Lib you go mad. <laughs> oh, oh. 
It's Wait. like some weird four four dimensional words in there that drive you insane. Oh, Has you switch a... word your mind into oh, breaking and leave your Has body behind. behind. Yeah. Has there been a Mad Libs movie yet? Because that should totally be the plot. <laughs> yeah. A secret Mad Libs book where anyone who does it goes insane or something. A Mad Libs movie <laughs> brought well, to you by well, the people well, who made the emoji movie. If we can, have a, if we, if if made, if we can have a Skype oh, horror movie. movie, then we can definitely have a Mad Libs horror movie. They made a Ouija board movie. They made an they, emoji movie. They made a Goosebumps movie. <laughs> they made well, a hold movie. on, Goosebumps. Ha. Goosebumps definitely worked. Yeah, like, Hasbro's awesome. been trying to make like a Monopoly movie for the past decade for some That's reason. True. Yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> so I could totally see Mad Libs. Mad Libs would be way better. For some reason. Oh my God. Would it though? I don't know. Like I the feel Monopoly. like Monopoly. <laughs> Then Monop- yeah, Mad Libs are obviously better than Monopoly. Everything's better than Monopoly. No, Break no, I, 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 is like, better than I, like, I love playing Monopoly, but it would make an all Playing movie. Monopoly is cool. Yeah. Would, would the Mad Libs movie be about a set of Mad Libs that causes something, or like about a killer who kills people and leaves notes about his next victims, but with some of the details not filled in, and how? then a detective, you know, needs to and then needs to try how, to and how it. about both? Okay? The way it works is the <laughs> detective everything. gets... The murders start happening. The detective gets a notebook that's placed on his desk that has blanks and blank pages. And every time a murder happens, the page appears in the notebook and he has to fill in the details for the next murder, which he then has to go solve. <laughs> like, let's make this very clear, though. This is just like a Mad Lib. So he can't look... He can't read the story first. He has to look away. It'll say, like, verb. Yeah. He has to write a verb. And he reads it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, the terrible events happen. So it's never right. helpful. Oh it's never <laughs> it's helpful. Not- <laughs> he ends up looking at it, and it's just like, and then the killer squeaked on his baguette. Damn it. And, yeah, and just... And this is going like, nowhere. <laughs> and you know what? Like, just like every Mad Lib thing, as a, little bit of fa- as a little bit of fan service, because they have to do this, just because everybody does this when they got a Mad Lib, at least one blank has to be filled with penis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. so like at yeah. some point in the movie, he thinks he thinks it'd be funny and writes penis, and then that ends up solving the murders. Or oh, like, the sidekick, yeah, does you know? Because this is like a super serious movie. Like the main guy actually writes like stabbed and knife or something. But it's never you know, right. <laughs> some shit. <laughs> yeah, no, like, then, like all the Mad Libs always end up not contributing to the murder. The murderer just kills people. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, like, he says stabbed in the thing, but instead it turns into, like, stabbed a loaf of bread. <laughs> like, like not the victim. Did not stab the victim. Yeah, you know? It's, it's uh, useless. I just, I just want to see a, like, super serious Mad Libs movie. This is like, serious. A- <laughs> Can it still have the official Mad Libs logo? That, like, goofy looking thing? But it's got, like, Zalgo eyes. It's like Zalgo Of five. course. Oh, yeah, man. like Zalgo eyes on there. <laughs> oh my god! We should just pitch this to the Mad Libs people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, please make a fucking Mad, Mad Libs, Libs, Mad Libs movie. movie. A, a a thriller, a dark crime thriller, Mad Libs movie. <laughs> oh, perfect. Wait, can the tagline? Okay, so like Mad Libs, oh, Mad oh, Libs no. is like. Uh, Mad Libs' tagline is world's greatest word game. Maybe, like, world's deadliest word game? Yeah. Ah, Is, like, yeah. the Mad Libs movie tagline? Yeah. Or, like, yeah. you know, or just, like... Perfect. Uh, uh, and, of course, it's called Dead Libs. Ooh, I know what it should be. <laughs> look what? before you and then a blank. Oh, nice. no. Wait, look before you think. <laughs> no, it should, it should be don't look behind blank. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe just blank. Don't blank behind you. <laughs> the world's blank. Sorry, the world's blank word game. Yeah. Hint, it's deadliest. Yeah. <laughs> All of that. Hint, it's deadliest. Yeah. <laughs> Fill in the blanks on August 18th. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we should just make this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> I mean, why, why, why go and tell someone else our vision only to watch them ruin it? Yeah, when I mean, we that's have such true. strong ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in like two years, when we all meet up again for one week, we'll film this whole movie. Yes. Oh, can I? Yeah. Can I? If just it's say, a two-hour we were... movie, that's just two hours of filming. Yeah. 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 yeah that's how we it don't. Works, we right? don't cut anything. Nothing. We do it all in one take. 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> can I also just say, this. yeah, we were yeah. talking about how to make an imaginary cat. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, this is a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, my Kevian. No, wait, no, I seriously, my Kevian. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. No. Oh, oh no, Blake. No, no, my Kevian. No, don't, 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 don't talk to Blake. Don't talk to Blake. Oh. I'm sorry. You're right. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> he switched back to love on his scale. Yeah. Th- oh. The more we Blake. interact with him, the more he interacts with us. <laughs> oh, oh shit. So just relax. <laughs> Yeah, and move on, and we it's should like, be fine. It's like a no- yeah. it's like a normal cat. The more you ignore him, the more he'll respect you. Yeah, right, right. That part comes from the cat part. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Step, Step nine. nine. Yes. Uh, read a book to your imaginary cat, or read books about cats, or with cat stories in. A cat is not a baby. <laughs> you know, it doesn't real care cats what you and read. imaginary cats yeah. don't care about <laughs> you reading a book. Jesus. Yeah. I, oh man. Unless that's one of yeah. its likes. Yeah. Let me call my cat in. Okay. There's two conceivable scenarios here. Okay. And I want you to picture them independently. You're sitting mm-hmm. alone in a room with Both your imaginary cat, sad. reading a book to it, alone, uh-huh. completely. Uh-huh. <sighs> By yourself, you're doing this just for you. Yes. Right? Think about how sad that is. Now think about how sad it is if you're in a room with other people reading a book <laughs> to your imaginary cat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's bad. I don't know which one is sadder. <laughs> I really because, don't. Because because everything the only, is sad. One, the only thing I can think of... Friends. Uh, the only way that this even makes sense reading... The only time I've heard of someone reading a book to an animal... Is there are those therapy groups that let kids read books to dogs? Yeah. That's as close as you can get. So. This person is not a kid. But the thing yeah. is, the thing is, Blake, those dogs exist. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah. Well, no I, I wasn't saying that this was anywhere close to that. I was saying, like, that's the <laughs> that's only a- time people read books to animals. And it's to help get the kids comfortable with reading. Yeah. Not help you bond to your imaginary cat. Now, going back to Bob's two examples, the first one implies you have no friends. Right. The second implies you have friends, but you feel as if it is worth it to read your your cat in front of them. Yes. Oh, my God. When we meet up in two years or whatever, I'll just ignore you guys and hang with my imaginary cat the whole time. Just hang with Brykevian. You'll just have, minop- you'll just monopolize the money time. and taken vacation time to fly over to just hang out <laughs> with a cat with in myself your head. and my imaginary cat. Right. Yeah. Oh my. It's just oh. like yeah, it's just like that movie. Me, myself and Fluffy. Yeah. Yes. Finally, yeah. step 10. Step Draw 10. or paint your imaginary cat. Now look at that Make cat. It come to life. It's a pretty cool cat. That's a pretty alright cat, actually. Yeah. 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 Well, that's pretty alright. Doesn't look anything... I don't think that looks anything like a cat. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. I mean, like, it looks more like, like a weird little oh, you marmot know that looks fox like? thing. That looks like Snarf from He-Man. Oh, so I was like, yeah! It's like it Snarf! Does, <laughs> it does look like Snarf! <laughs> Wait, what Snarf. if Snarf was... What if Snarf was their imaginary cat? Yeah. It would certainly explain oh. why he was so useless. And why he was so annoying. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. one of them just imagined Snarf, and the rest of them ignored Snarf. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Look at these great questions. Can I have a bunch of imaginary cats? <laughs> well, Blake, yes, you can. Hold you on. You can have as many you as think... you like. Wait, wait, Blake, I'm finish. As, take... as long as you take care of them. Zero you not don't... helpful, eleven helpful. You, you, this is a cat you can make into any, it's want. a, it's a and cat yet that you're still tired of one, so you need a second one or a third one? I can't imagine being so pathetic that I feel the need to ask permission to have more than one imaginary cat. Like, well, it's pathetic I, enough Jesus. that you want, mo- like, multiple imaginary cats. It's the fact pathetic that you, like, enough that you want ask- one. It's pathetic like- that you want one imaginary cat. It's even more pathetic that you want a bunch <laughs> It's even more pathetic that you need to ask random people's uh, permission on the internet. Yeah. On the internet, you're not even asking someone you know. 
Yeah. Okay, but remember this. If your imaginary cat is in fact Brykevian, <laughs> you damn well make sure you ask permission before you adopt That's more. That's true. That's yeah. true. Uh, or how about this next one? Can I draw more than one picture of my imaginary cat? No, only one per cat. Dude, Follow the imaginary like, pet code. It's like, uh, like seriously, like just why don't you grow some balls and just <laughs> just do whatever the fuck you want. Like so you don't have to ask the world's cats. fucking permission to do everything Look, in the, that you want to do. We at the Steel Donut have been shitting on the people who want to have imaginary cats all video. But if you want to have an imaginary cat, you don't need to ask us or anyone else for permission. <laughs> just do it. Just draw a picture. Just do whatever. I don't just, give a shit what you do. <laughs> no one gives the slightest shit. You are master of your own destiny. Yes. Except for the dislike button. You do not have mastery over the dislike button. No, nobody. Yeah, had, or or can the touch YouTube that. stars, yeah. Yeah. Man, how often should I? Forever. Wait, how? This one's got to be a joke question. How often should I take my imaginary cat to the vet, and where can I board her when I travel out of town? Yeah. Uh, but then look at this yeah. super serious answer. You can decide how often to take the vet. I'm, I'm kidnapping uh, the veterinarian. Oh, I feel like the oh. vet. We should really have some 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 form of consent involved here. That yeah. <laughs> He's just like, hey, I really didn't want to come along, but okay. Stop pointing that gun at me, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once a year is sufficient for a healthy cat. More often if the cat is sick. Imagine, what would you say if you were a receptionist at a veterinary clinic, and some guy mm -hmm. walks up and says, you gotta help me, my imaginary cat is dying. <laughs> Alright, take a seat. She got hit by an imaginary car. No, what I would say is, okay, take a seat, and then I would never put his name on the roster, and then he would just sit there in the office until he got bored and left. If the guy was under the age of five, I would say, aw, how cute. If the guy was <laughs> anywhere older, I would phone 911. Yeah. He gotta help me. There's some crazy guy here. You're the crazy one. You don't want to help my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on the other hand, that's because their cat is not Brykevian. Because yeah. if Brykevian were to be run over by an imaginary car, the imaginary car would just cease to exist. Yeah, true. It would hit, it would hit him and it would just cease to not exist. Like a camera. <laughs> it would actually become real. Yeah, oh, the imaginary no. car would cease to not exist and become a real <laughs> yeah. car yeah, when you live that in crashes the game, you into nothing and explodes. Yeah, oh, when you live in the game, you live in real life. Whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa. So, like, whoa. you'd see, you would see nothing on the street for a while, and then you'd hear someone say, No, break Kevin! And then, and then you would just see an explosion of fire and metal in the middle of the road, Wait. and there would be a wrecked car there with a burning person inside. Would you, and you'd would be you like, really, would, Holy shit! If Bright Kevin was about to be run over by a car, would you really say, Oh, no? I would say, Oh, no, because I don't want someone. Who was imaginary to become real just in time to die. That's true. <laughs> board your existence was nothing but death. But look at this. It says board your cat with the vet if the vet has a boarding place. Make a whole set of cattery boarding places using a cardboard box and board your imaginary cat there. Yeah, do the cardboard box. Don't go to the vet. Don't, Don't go do the to cardboard the vet. box. Recycle well, your cardboard boxes and stop having an imaginary cat. Cool. One person said that was not helpful. Eleven people said it was helpful. Um, tips. Oh, After God. a month or two, your imaginary cat can have one. imaginary kittens. Oh jeez, no. I mean, you don't want you don't want Brykevian to have kittens. Yeah, and then one one Brykevian is enough. Anyway. And then and tip, have them tip number spiky. two is just step number five. You can make a decorated home. Yeah, and I really yeah. love the warnings here. Never ever hit your imaginary cat. It can get sad. Yeah, also, to, you yeah, never ever hit Brykevian, he'll hit back. Real I talk, can't. that's not the reason you shouldn't hit your pets. Can you imagine anything more depressing than someone who creates an imaginary cat and then abuses it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I guess if we're going down that road, better imaginary cats. You know, I, I guess, guess but... But, like, I, I still don't get, like, never ever hit your imaginary cat, it can get sad. Getting sad is not the reason that you're not <laughs> supposed to abuse your pets. You're not supposed to abuse your pets because that's not good for them. <laughs> Lots of things make animals sad. But sadness isn't the problem. Abuse is the problem. 
<laughs> Sadness is not even yeah. necessarily bad. If you feel the urge to abuse imaginary animals, seek a lot of help. <laughs> as weird. much more, help as you can get. Even more, even help more than so. I think we've told anyone else to go get. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this even is, more so if you feel the urge to abuse real animals. Real animals, for sure. Imaginary animals. Also, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that's indicative of some problems in your psyche. That's some real shit going on in your head. Yeah. Youth decided to make an imaginary cat, and now you want to abuse it. That's just all sorts of weird. Yeah. Really weird. And then, uh, you know, you know what this is more like? This is more like how to own a Neopet, because look at this next step. Don't keep your imaginary cat starving. Feed it imaginary food often, especially marshmallows if they are it is favorites. Oh, don't worry. That's fine. You can starve your Neopets all you want. Yeah, they'll never die. Hell, it, didn't yeah. that teach kids a weird lesson that Neopets can starve forever and never die? <laughs> I mean... Oh, man, that, that kind of reminds me of my uh, of, of when I was younger, and, you know, and everybody, including me, of course, had a Tamagotchi. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That was the sheesh. That yeah. was great. Yeah. Yellow's like, I wish I knew what I knew now when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that Tamagotchis are. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That Tamagotchis are here, actually kind of. Here, show, here, quick, Connor, show that rare photo of Yellow meeting with Rod Stewart to give him that song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. I thought oh. he was meeting with uh, Modest Mouse. I'm pretty sure Modest Mouse didn't write that song. <laughs> pretty sure Modest Mouse and Rod Stewart were there in the picture that I'm going to Photoshop for you. Yeah. <laughs> I knew now what I knew then, but I didn't know then what I know now. Yeah. Dang. Uh, and then, last warning, lots of things that are great to do with imaginary cats are not suitable to do with actual like cats. Like abuse them. What? What? <laughs> what? I mean, that's not false. What? The implications. The implications are terrible, but like, the advice is sound. That, why are you, that, why are that you, warning, like that you, warning makes it sound like they're like, if they were saying this aloud, they would like wink at me and like elbow me, like, eh? Wink eh you know and, what I'm and talking about? Wriggle really their eyebrows. Don't like, like, like you see your friend just sitting there doing like this air hump thing. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just fucking my imaginary cat. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? It's like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why can't you at least get an imaginary girlfriend or boyfriend? That yeah. went places I was honestly not <laughs> expecting it to go. Yeah. Bo both our riff and the article. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about that was sad. And then uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But... Do not startle Brack Evian. Yeah. Yes. Or else he'll... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think we're good here if you uh enjoyed watching that video um i was i almost was about to go into like oh make sure you like it really helps but no <laughs> oh my god don't do Blake, that that's no. stupid just join our well, discord i mean you and can do that us, but don't you know? feel you can don't feel yeah. you can request yeah. stories there you can hang out with people you can also request stories in the comments by email you know all sorts However of stuff like. yeah mm-hmm so thanks for watching Thank you. Don't startle break heavy and don't do it.